we have so many great things going on that we want to make sure that we're still connecting with the global world. So I think that's a great thing about exhibition is that in that way, it offers a way for our students to connect with, with other people and see that the local issues that we have here or the personal issues that we have here, other people around the world also are dealing with those issues and how can we come together to do something about it. So Chaptik are the Okanagan Nation's traditional stories and they include animal people and other natural aspects. The main purpose of them is to pass on traditional teachings and lessons to younger generations. I believe every single lesson is teaching us how to be a better individual and a better community member. On an international scale is kind of what global mindedness is all about. I think grade seven students always have a sort of a balancing challenge in their lives. So they're balancing family, they're balancing friends, they're balancing relationships. While they're doing that, they're transitioning from elementary to high school, which brings about a lot of change too. So not only are these students doing this in a rural community where uh, we're pretty isolated or separated from the big cities, they're doing this during a pandemic as well this year. So also trying to connect with the bigger picture, with the outside world, has always been a challenge at our school. My name is Marshall Freer. Hi, my name is Ty. Hello, my name is Josh. Hi, I'm Keaton. I'm Nolan. I am Sapphire McCann. My name is Riley. Hello, my name is Joshua. My exhibition is on gun safety. I'm doing an exhibition on anti-bullying. Racism pointing towards we're missing indigenous women. What does self-acceptance look like? the LGBTQ self-acceptance. Safety with electricity experiments. The reason I got into no bullying for my exhibition project is because I wanted to learn how it works so that I could put a complete end to bullying as a whole and educate other people. I've learned people can be homeless because of failure in the system, disabilities, mental health issues, and addictions. My action is to do a food drive. I am placing boxes around the town to collect food for the food bank. How much food did you get? It was about like 512.5 pounds of food, so. That's a lot. Mm, yeah, that's a lot. The most rewarding part is knowing that I made a change for lots of homeless people. Through my research for my exhibition, I've learned that bullying can affect your sleep and your stress levels. And bullying also has many forms, such as social, verbal, physical, and cyberbullying. And it made me realize that bullying is a bigger problem than first thought of, so. I have many things planned. I have uh, putting something in the news, on the radio, or maybe on like social media. The highlight of my exhibition project was presenting to our school. Conducting a survey, a lot of responses said that bullies are bullies because they live in a house where they are the victim. This means that they are possibly being bullied in their home by parents or siblings. I know bullying is wrong. I wish I had the courage to tell the teacher or stand up to the bully. Bullying causes depression, anxiety, eating disorders, and in the worst case, suicide. Oh, the highlight of my project was creating my PSA. And I'm doing my exhibition on gun safety and gun control. Uh, we've created surveys and done a bit of research. And I'm doing this exhibition because I think it's important. I live in rural areas and lots of people own firearms. The highlight of my project was actually setting up the exhibition trifolds. How does self-acceptance affect your life as a well-being? The highlight of my project was painting my action on posters. Hi, my name is Marshall, and I made a book on electricity safety. Who is the book for? Teachers to teach students. So it's, not, it's practically for everybody. The highlight of my project is making the booklets for teachers around the schools. I am most proud of my researching. I've learned there's more than one gender, there's more than lesbian, gays, bi, trans, queer people. 
I think my action is sending out papers that are filled with support groups around the world that can help find self-acceptance. The highlight of my project was that was a brochure I put at the band office in the health center. My action is about Red Dress Day. Red Dress Day is honoring the murdered missing indigenous women and young girls that have gone missing. Um, my action is to somehow tell or persuade some of the school to wear something red to honor the murdered missing indigenous women and girls. The highlight of my exhibition project was setting up my booth to present to the school of Simbok Chief and Council and parents.